Good morning. Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Today we're going to tie a what I call a caddis crawler. We've got a 3761 and this is a big one. This is a size 10 and I'm doing this size just to demonstrate this pattern. Normally I would tie this pattern in a um, 14, 16, 18. First we're going to start with a little copper wire. This is small ultra wire. Then we're going to take a little quick descent dub in brown. This is a hairline product. And we're going to dub this on just a little bit at a time. This stuff dubs really easily and it adds weight to the fly. It's kind of a metallic dyed product. And you cannot get it off the thread once you dub it, so um, go sparingly and a little bit at a time as you work your way up the shank of the hook. We'll start back here, trying to create a decent taper as we work our way forward. Get that classic caddis abdomen. Just see how that stuff lays on there so smoothly. Leave a little space for our thorax, bring our copper wire up through the body. Let's take that and tug it until it breaks. Put our first set of legs in. We've got black crystal flash and you could use a rubber leg if you wanted to but this is the original pattern as I found it. I'm sorry I don't know the name of this fly. If someone is familiar with it please share it with me and I will get it posted as to the correct name. We have hairline insect green. This is a uh, just hairline dubbing. Good old rabbit. I want to create that little green spot. So I'll just take this and wedge it right up against those legs so we get them to splay. And just kind of build a little ball right in there. Next, we'll put another set of legs in. Push those right up against the ball we just created. A little bit of black dubbing because we have one more set of legs to lay in here. Another set of crystal flash legs. And a small amount of black dubbing just in front of that to create the taper of the head and to wedge that last little bit of material or that last little bit of crystal flash legs there. Okay, We'll put a little whip finish on this fly. And then we're going to turn this fly so I can get these legs all trimmed up to the same length. So I'm just going to pull them out. Get this last one here. And they should be about a gap width of your hook you're tying on. And there you have one of my favorite little caddis crawler patterns, deadly on the Deschutes.